The sun just spewed cold material into space. What is happening? This is NASA's news. Sebastian Ketley Express UK reports that our sun has ejected a dense and cold streak of solar material into space last week when NASA's astronomers spotted a powerful explosion of the sun's surface. The sun is the single hottest object as we know in our solar system with a core burning at an unimaginable 15 million degrees Celsius or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, surface temperature on the sun equally terrifying, reaching as high as 5,540 degrees Celsius or 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And the sun's corona, the outermost layer of the star atmosphere, burns hundreds of times hotter than the sun's surface. So how did NASA spot on Friday? June 28, a violent outburst of cold material in the sun's upper atmosphere. The solar outburst was a so-called solar prominence, or a bright feature extended from the sun. Solar prominence is ejected from the sun like a whip or a tentacle, tethered to the sun's surface, and these events typically play out over the course of a day, but have been known to hang around for months at a time. When a solar prominence escapes the sun, it loops around back to the star, sometimes extending for hundreds of thousands of miles into space. On Friday, June 28, NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, recorded one of these prominences in the sun. Viewed from Earth, these features resemble a loop of loose thread poked out of a jacket's lining. But how exactly are those solar prominences cold? NASA explained, solar prominence are loops of comparatively cold, dense solar material that become suspended in the sun's superhot outer atmosphere. Because they're colder and denser than the surroundings, they're readily observed by STO's 304 Angstrom Telescope. NASA's Angstrom Telescope is a state-of-the-art instrument observing the light radiated by helium atoms escaping the sun. The helium gas burns at an incredible 5,000 degrees Celsius or 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit, while the surrounding corona can reach a few million degrees Fahrenheit. NASA said prominences, like most solar eruptions, form over active regions, places where the sun's magnetic field is especially intense and complex. Active regions can last for months, making several trips around the sun, and each complete solar rotation is known as a Carrington rotation and takes about 27 days. These events are pretty hard to track unless the sun experiences a solar minimum when solar activity drops. However, the sun is undergoing its solar minimum right now. So the prominence was not cold in the same way ice is cold on Earth, but was considerably colder than the peak temperatures of the sun's corona. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.